Hello everyone, it's me Rafael again and this time we are looking at a MinStack project. I work on this project to acquire insights on different technologies and techniques. This is a responsive web application as you can see. You can minimize it and uh, make it bigger. Uh, it accepts uh, multiple inputs from users such as registration, you know, uh, login and allows for uh, processing of recipes to find out uh, about the recipes nutritional values by retrieving data from a public API. And we're also using our own REST API for this project. Uh, we, we will involve the use of MongoDB. I've used Mongoose as an object document mapper and uh, Node.js and Express for the backend. And so we will be using the Passport library featuring JSON web tokens for the user authentication. And uh, we are going to build our own uh, REST API, as mentioned before, for our registration, login, and other data interaction. For our front end, I have used Angular 2 and its convenient CLI. We are using Angular routers, HTTP modules, uh, same JSON web token for validation, and we will also authenticate our routes using OutGuard. This is our home screen of our website. Here we can choose to go to register and get our registration a form. Uh, we can also go to the about, which holds some information and links about the website. Uh, but for now, let's go back to the registration. So name, username, and email are validated uh, before sending them to our backend. Now, we can create a new account, which should show on our MongoDB database. The user information is authenticated in the backend, as I will show later on the backend demonstration. So let's have a look. Let's put a generic login. And now let's have a look at our MongoDB setup. Here we can refresh uh, the page and voila, that's it. And our password has been successfully encrypted by our backend, as you can see. Uh, we can go to our login form. So now we are logged in and we can see our nutrition app. Here we can add our recipes as uh, I will show now. Let's say rice and eggs, uh, four servings. And now we can put a recipe, which we can put uh, one cup of rice two large eggs, one tablespoon of salt. And this is the response that we get from our API. I should probably put the results up to two decimal values after the decimal point, but that's fine for now. Also, we can have a look to our homepage. Now we have changed and it returns the user profile information instead, which could probably look better in our nav bar, to be honest for this presentation and uh, we are also guarding this route as you can see we can copy this address and paste it while logged out and it routes us to the login page if we do that and try to enter that address which is pretty cool so i will also like to give a, a pretty quick uh, explanation of our backend and uh, I'll try to be as brief as possible if I can. And so first I have imported the following modules, Express for pre-building functionality on Node.js. Uh, path provides utility for working with file and directory paths. Body parser for our body parsing middleware. Course uh, allow us for cross-origin sharing so that I so that we allow um, our um, other domains to pull information from our server. In this case, our front end will be running on port 4000, uh, which is a different domain, so it will be useful. And uh, yeah, Passport allows for, for easy built-in local authentication methods. And then we have Mongoose, which allows for MongoDB pre-built functionality to be implemented. Um, uh, we have users and config route variables. And then, um, yeah, next we can, 
Next, we set up our database with Mon Mongoose and uh, use the connect function, which takes in the database from our database file in the config folder. Uh, so I can show you real quickly here. And um, we can also set alerts for when connection is successful or if it throws an error. Now, then we initialize our app variable with express. Now we can add our middleware for course, body parser, uh, and passport, and also import our passport strategy, which looks like this. He, here we are mm, basically extracting the information from the request header, getting hold of our secret key, creating a new strategy with our options set, then a callback which brings up the user information and so that we can uh, authenticate the user. And uh, we have also added a route to direct the traffic from uh, dash users to this file right here. Uh, our imports are pretty much uh, the same with the difference of the JWT for the token generation, the router module to listen for traffic and um, our module file. And so in this file, in the user file, we have imported bcrypt for data encryption. This file contains the the, <clears throat> the table schema for user accounts. Uh, we can see name, email, username, password, and we declare and export our table globally. Uh, we have a couple of functions here, uh, get user by ID, which returns an ID. Uh, get user by username returns a username. I mean, returns a, a, a user by its username or by its ID. Add user, which uh, basically encrypts the user password with salt. Uh, we have also compare password, which compares the hash of passwords. The previous methods are are used where we were left in the user file, so we can go back. And uh, here we listen for request. And if it's uh, register, we create a user object and then use the add user method on it. We also listen for authenticate for user login. We get the login information uh, for the user. Then we compare password. And if it's a match, we generate a token. And lastly, by using the password module, we can authenticate the user token when going to specific routes as we do here for our home route. Finally, on our app file, we have this line so that when our application is built into the public uh, folder, we di direct the index, we direct it to index.html inside of it. And lastly, we listen for port uh, 3000.